coming back to the war memorial feels like coming home and sticking your crocs on after a week in cov if your home was a crack house where you got abused and you had to scrounge around to make ends meet you certainly will find some questionable looking characters but it's our home and after captain stourbridge put the glass boys on his back we'll be welcoming the big boys to the trappy because of this year da -da 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 -da. we're in the big time Right then, first season in the Prem, I wanted to incorporate all the elements of our badge. Mostly white base with the thin red stripes. And this time, we've introduced a little bit of gold. Shout out the pairs. Pair of balls, got them. Come on, they do look like testicles, or is it just me? The away is just beautiful. I think I favour the darker kits. And then the third, we throw back to 15-16. And once again, shouting out Bandal Dental Practice. I wonder how many times I've got to shout them out before they give me a free scale and polish. Someone go and ask them. Now, we've been talking about upgrading the War Memorial for a while. I'm falling to pieces in real life. But we are going to do one more season before the redo. Imagine Sally getting off the coach in Starbridge Oil Street. To be fair, it wouldn't look out of place with that new trim. But you lot know how to get me going, didn't you? I've thrown out names of former villains. I had to include this comment. Mark, you are a genius, sir, and I doff my cap. Just a year too late though, Grandad's retiring. But as always, we look out for our author of the year. We actually had a lovely convo on Twitter the other day, but Gaz spitting straight factuals about Hancock looking like a Dharma Troil Ray's little bro. Sorry to slot him in, in a pair of Mizunos. We give Luca his undershirt. And then of course, how did I miss this? Takashi, give him some mad coloured boots. We'll get him into that 69. Like Takashi69, I'm not forcing him on his back or anything. First of all, we've been scrounging around on the free agents once again, and how could I ignore the comments that were calling out for one of the shining lights of Luton stint in the Premier League? Alfie Dougherty comes in as a direct upgrade for Harper, but alongside him, a statement pickup. Back for another crack at the Prem, and hopefully he'll be passing to teammates and not ad boards. But what a lukewarm career he's gone on to have. We'll turn you into that superstar, Sanch, don't you worry. So, adding their man to our first team, let's face it, there's only one person in this team that needs replacing. Well, he didn't start a fire, but he certainly put it out. So, then, looking at our transfer targets, well, I'm coming for one of you three eventually. Castle Dine still feels just out of reach. Ferreira, Hollerback, and Osula all look like future glass boys to me. But with our paltry 13 milli, we're spending it on an old fashioned chalk on your boots. Man works wings like me, seven points deep at Bonehead Birmingham. And all I'm saying is, long shots. And after a right old back and forth with his cue ball, it looks like Tank's been playing a game of strict poker with him to settle on 6.2 million for Rob Apta. And shout out to the real life Luca for this steal. But desperate to do more business, we had to get our Alan Sugar on. You're fired, son. With a load of man off out, Garner, Vialba, Middleton. Pice, even this fella, I didn't even know we had. Now, I normally don't like doing business with Blues, but when they said that they'd give me 8 million for a fire, well, I'd have driven him to small leaf myself. It was Tank's Ben Gianni moment. This is Benji, it's a great club, you're a great blood. Get on that plate. One man who's going nowhere though, Heine, player of the episode, two seasons running. But also looking to strengthen at the back, a man that kicked the shit out of Scarlet last season, the ugliest Uruguayan that you'll ever see. Paradise looking to slot in and break up the Williams brothers. Finally, from a couple of episodes ago, Avicineo sent me a couple lads, one of which being a Gosha Bello. Great name, and not to mention, he's an absolute six foot seven monster. Look at him compared to Tov. So, with the business done, is this enough to keep us in the Prem? Well, as we are taking a step up in quality, it's time to take a step up in difficulty. I don't get nervous, but I'm starting to get a bit shaky, you know? I mean, I'm a little bit weak. Hello there, family, episode six. And if you're new around here, what we do, we play a load of highlights, we take a little break, little Kit Kat in Jan. We'll be back to highlights again, and then for the big games at the end of the season, we play them live. Now, if you haven't already, drop this video a like, and also, don't get gatekeeping your favourite YouTuber. Do what Lou's doing out here on TikTok. Tell everyone about it. Don't be selfish. Your mum taught you better than that. But seriously, much love, Lou. So the opener, Liverpool at Anfield, a baptism of fire, don't you think? Well, Robbie Apta, he's been down in holy water. That's what it's called, isn't it? The black liquid with the white top. Blessed by the Guinness gods. Imagine the piss up the glass boys are going to have down on the docks. Some prat's going to end up in the Mersey, any? And yes, we did hang on for dear life for all three. 
Heine once again. It's just a joke between the sticks, isn't it? Trip down to the big smoke next, and when I say crashing back, like come down on Christmas morning, if you ain't hanging out your ass on Jesus' birthday, what are you even doing? But it was Darwin, Darwin Nunez, a Dylan well and truly over his knee in this one. So, for the next game, our unappealing Uruguayan steps in to take his place, but it was his defensive partner, Reese to put us 1-0 up against Ipswich. A little local derby followed against Wolvo, Bello throwing his weight around up top, but it shepherded on the scraps. But the constant runs from Nicholas Jackson eventually our defensive line. It was like Spaghetti Junction. Saito came off the bench to replace the goal scorer and almost drove us into the central reser in the final minute. For some reason though, we love playing against the Scousers. Our fans probably giving it loads in the job centre pre-match, picking up their universal credit. Tovide though, it's just a cheat code worth about 50 million now. Goals coming like the number nine Busto, you wait 50 minutes for one and two come at the same time. Captain Stourbridge opens his account. Name a better sight than this though, a Stour boy armband scoring for his team in the Prem at the War Memorial. I don't know if I'm going to burst into tears or bust a nut. But Everton bring on this Hass fella and he dunks not one stunner ball away but two on us. Throwing away points like a traffic officer who got bullied at school. And now we're back at the Emirates former Arsenal goalkeeper leaving for a Midlands club after returning and becoming incredible. I've heard that one before. And yeah he got fingers to that one. Couldn't do anything about the second one though. After a less than stellar start to the season, we've been playing around with the idea of two big bad lads up front and like Crouchy. Bellow's got a lovely touch for a big man. Saliba brings him down and Bellow tucks it away. And then in the final game before Jan, Shep picks the ball up, runs at the heart of the Chelsea defence. And look, I don't promote physical violence, but sometimes lads, you've just got to give her a little slap on the arse. Trust me, boys, she'll love it. Oh, I'm like a proud dad trying to call my son up after I realise he's famous and he might give me a couple of quid to leave him alone. But what I'm not proud about is being 10 points off the drop. Sim games are kicking our ass. Doesn't help when you're throwing away two goal leads, though, to be fair. So, straight into the second half of the season, then, and we just need to figure out what our best 11 is. Who should partner Tov up front and who should partner Paradise in defence? Does Perry deserve three or four hundred grand a week and... What sides is Tank going to have at the cottage later? There's just a lot to think about. One thing that we don't need to think about, though, is who should be in goal. Heine, still mustard. But Saito, he's definitely giving Shep a run for his money, you know. But with this ball, as it gets recycled from outside, just lobs it up to the freak show. And he produces the late, late show. Bello has just got that special something. And that something has just gone in Tank's back. It's like Gary Barlow trying to pick up his son when he was, like, four. Now, we haven't seen a lot of this trifecta working in tandem this season, but when we do, it is poetry in motion. You gotta hold and give and do it at the right time. But look at Tov putting his kneecaps on the line. This man would die for the red and white, and he'd bottle someone for the glass boys. But once again, what can I say about this geezer that hasn't already been said? But on ultimate, when the tides turn, it's like a tsunami. And Heine, he's just about keeping us afloat. And Bello on in the final minutes, coming on for the injured Tov. More on that in a second. It gives us a little bit of hope, but it's the hope that kills you. We welcome Leicester to the War Memorial, and it's just one of them games. Everything that they did went in, and we, without Tov, couldn't get out of our own half. Not even this stunner from Sanch wanted to nestle in the top bin. Scarlet slipping past the defence to grab one back, and then it's Sarito to reduce the deficit. And then Apsa in the final minutes. Oh, this made me love him so much. Keeps, he's a scarcer. He will shank ya. But here there, Yorkshire. We chuffing love ya. Gabby with a second yellow gives us a massive chance in a much needed relegation six pointer. But taken short, Shep's effort gets blocked by a hand, which gives Luca another chance to swing one over the wall. I tell ya, nailed on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, we'll see you later. Scarlet, finally this season, settling into his groove. And then the return in Tov, also on the score sheet. Glad to see his couple of weeks out haven't quelled his hunger for goals. This man is starving. And in the final game of these highlights at the Tottenham Hotspur, in this position, running onto it, there is no one better than Shepard. Vicario left like... Digs out an absolute pearl at three points here. Would be massive between the bottom like... Seven teams, but we were due one. We were due one. One mistake from the man who never puts a foot wrong. 
Oh, his voice is getting deeper. He's got airs on his chest. Puberty is happening for our Estonian because he's dropped all of his bollocks. A so very shaky second half of the season means... It's not looking good, Brev. It's not looking good. Three games to determine our season. Newcastle, Villa, West Ham. All oh, tough games. It's been a stressful old season, and it? Fighting relegation. Fighting his fucking airline. But Tank knows what's needed for a cup final. We've got three of them. Just a touch of class. Still got to be a bit of a knob with the spectacles, though, innit? So then our best team, two up top, both on Poacher. Apta and Shepard, both attacking wingers. Perry, deep lying. Sanchez holding. Doherty and Luca both on win backs and the centre backs just do what you like I don't even care gaming and we need points well staring down the barrel a little bit we boys we got three games to go in this Premier League season oh, to keep us alive the only thing that's given me a little bit of hope is the fact that the rest of the teams around us have been absolutely dog realistically if, if we can get a couple of good results here we could bump ourselves up to like 12th, which wouldn't be a bad finish in our first season. But with the three big boys standing in our way, Newcastle, a little derby against Villa, and then West Ham on the final day. <sighs> this could be a tough one. Come on, though, the glass boys. You can get it done for us, boys. Come on. Perry, nice. You get us ticking then, lad. What a ball that is. What a ball. Keep it in. Go on in, Luca. Drive, Luca. Ball in. Oh, that's a corner. Well done, Luca. Good ball in here. Good ball in. Great ball in. Great ball in for Doherty. Oh, it's a big save. Oh, Sanchez. Didn't get there. Shit wins it back, though. Nice. Luca. Go on then, son. I know you like to spread your legs. He won! Ah, it's weak. Long stuff. Over to Gordon then. Dangerous now. Layman is dangerous. We know about Layman. Gordon. Oh, Gordon spun us. Oh, he's done us. He's done us all ends up. That's not a good start, lads. That's really not a good start. Claire Bolding. A little slag. Big winner then. Big winner. Big winner. Dowerty. Wanted it more. Apter again. This time skips past him. Pure pace. Pure power. Pure determination. Apter! Oh, it's a massive save. You little dickhead. Oh, up to Tov then. Tov, you win that. You win that, Tov. Well done, son. Scarlet keeps it alive. And now it's Luca. Scarlet over the top. Scarlet, get there! Ah. That ball out. Into Apter's feet. Get it down. Well done. We can find him. That's a foul ref. It is a foul referee. And it's a lovely opportunity at a lovely ball in here. Because we've got a few players. We've got a few players that love to swing in balls. I think it's got to be a left footer, isn't it? It's got to be a left footer. It's got to be just in there. Swinging away from the keeper. And back stick. Ball in. Perry! Ah! Perry, come on! Shepard. Tov, get in the box. Get in the box, Tov. Big winner, Tov. Up again. Keeps it. Comes on to the captain. Spank one! Oh! It's a great save. Ah! 1-0 down. Not where I want it to be, lads. But there are some sparks. There are some little shades of brilliance. Into Luca. Can try one. Will try one. That's, a, that's ours, ref. We'll have it. We'll have a free kick there. Absolutely all day. I want to try something here. I really want to try something. Because I've seen it. He's got it in him. He has got it in him. To ping one of these. Just there. Sanchez. Spank one. Is one. Oh! It was moving. It was moving well away from goal. But we'll take it. Can you even think about doing something for us, Pez? 
Luca's got the ball again. We'll think about it again. Oh! It's calling out. It's calling out for a power shot banger. I'm telling ya. Oh, right then, boys. Something needs to change, doesn't it? A few changes off. Scarlett, Sanchez and Shepard. Seattle, Hancock and Bello on. Perhaps where you're going. Back into Hancock, though. Out to Luca. Luca. Try one. Try one! Get in, Luca! The Italian with the intensity of Gino De Campo. When Holly Willoughby said a British carbonara would have, like, peas in it or something. Are you chatting shit? But this man... Oh, there's no shit about him, is there? It's just pure technique, work, determination. He's got to be a future captain. He's got to be. Perry, he's coming for that armband. Wants it. He's hungry for it. He's hunting. Ball in. Not going to get anywhere. Oh, let's give him a free kick. Not good. Come on, lads. Let's nick this. Let's go to the other end. Too many. Loses it. Finds. Oh, no. It's hard. Oh, it's another foul. Shut up, ref. Oh, what are they going to do with it then? Layman's going to hit one. Oh my god, are you joking me? I was just about to set the piss out of him. Oh my god, the war memorial is silent. Let me see this again. Nah. Nah. That might be one of the best goals I've ever seen scored. That's a joke. Right then, we need something massive here. We need something serious. Sov, come on, son. Bello over the top. Can find him. Bello! Put it in! Put, just put it in! Just literally stick your foot through it, stick your laces, everything else through it as well. See that, Otto? He's got it. Go on, drive. You're not going to give us any time. You're not going to give us any time, are you? You absolute slag. Well, our game in hand. <laughs> our game in hand gives us nothing. On to Villa then. So then our first time at Villa Park. Oh my God, I hate to do this. I never like playing against Villa, especially at Villa Park. But when the Glass Boys need three points, we're coming here for the lot. Villa team... Still looking decent. They've got a few regens, which I always hate to see. But Emmy Martin, they're still in goal. That's a joke, isn't it? Lads, we need a big performance. We need nothing but three points here. Three points is absolutely essential. Gives us a sniff on the final day. Come on, the glass boys! Come on. Three points. That's, that's all we need. That's all we need. We'll find into Scarlet. Scarlett's got time and space to strike one. Ah! Balling from Luca. Need a goal here, boys. Dowerty! Up you get! Oh, it's off the line. It's off the line. Scarlett, you've got to keep it. Keep it. Mm. Big switch. Apta. Get that down. Perry. Touch it! Volley it! Ah! Oh, I don't know how close it was, but it felt like it was happening. Luca again. Creates a little bit of space for himself. He won, Luca. Oh, oh, oh. I tell you, he's the only one that's the attacking threat at the minute. Come on, lads. You lot get stuck in as well. And now Hassan's gone. Good tackle. Back into Apta. Get there, Apta. Get there. And hit one. He won, then. Oh, <laughs> Come on. Emmy Martinez. Just, just, get, just piss off. Minor. Ferguson has lost it. And we go. Tov, touch that. And drive. And drive. Keep going. Find. Apta. Great little passenger play. Got to finish it. Well done, boys. Unbelievable little break. And it was just getting the ball forward into Apta. Getting it forward into Tov. Laying it off to Apta. It's unbelievable work. Come on, boys. 
Oh, he's nicked him. Absolutely again. Unbelievable work. Keep going, son. Keep going, son. No, dig one out. Scorer! Back stick! Ah. Oh, we are absolutely flying. He's played it short. Oh, he didn't want it there, did he? He did not want it. Shades of Mingzi. Apsa. He looks like he absolutely... He wants about four or five today. Perry. Keep going, son. Finish it. Oh, it's a great little bit of defending. Tommy Dad. What on earth is Emmy Martinez doing? Get him, boys. It's just before half time. We get the second. Emmy Martinez. Dilly ding. Dilly dong in. And Tommy Day is absolutely without roof for you. On the counter. Oh, what well, Apta. Go on in. That was a... you got to strike one. you got to strike it! Mm. We could have five or six here today, lads. We genuinely could. We could have five or six. Ball in. Dowerty. Up you get. Got to be a hand in there. Sanchez. Dowerty. It won. Ah. Keep it going. Mm. Half time. I didn't want it there. We didn't want half time, did we? We had another couple goals in us, boys. Back into Apta. Far side. Touch it. Volley it! Ah. Hit it again. It's off! Oh, the deflection. You can get this down. Far side, I can see him. Oh! What a ball! Oh, my God! Tillemans. Oh, it's a big tackle. Oh, no. Oh, this is danger. I don't... You know. You know for a fact. I don't trust free kicks at the minute. I do not trust free kicks. Especially with Tillyman standing over him. Oh, three changes then. Hancock comes on. Bello. As well as Saito. Just get through this. Just get past this. Let's get through it, boys. Blocks. Oh, big block. Well done. Top four. Why did we stop? Why did we stop? Right. Last chance. Find him. Bello. Up you get! Well done, Bello. The six foot infinity striker. Puts the sword to Villa. Makes it three. Gets us the big three. Just what we needed. An emphatic victory. We've got to do this more, haven't we? Just sling it up to the big man. Fucking hell, look at him dominating him. Absolute total world domination. Gotta call it then, ref. Call it there. Call it a day. Call it at 3 a.m. telling it you miss it. And that's about it. We've got to have a look at we've got to have a look at the table though. What does that mean? What does that leave us with on the final day? I think it just gives us a bit of a sniff, you know. So then going into the final day, a point behind Notts who have Chelsea. Ipswich have got Palace. One of them will slip up. But we need to win, boys. Come on. Come on, the glass boys. The great escape is on. And it's live. Oh, so here we go then, boys. Final game of the season. And it's imperative. We need... A win. But we need to beat a West Ham side that are going top four. They're going for Champo football. And I tell you, their team is stacked. 85's pretty much all over the pitch. I, I don't know if we're going to survive. But if we are going to, it's going to be that man. It's going to be that man there. And it's going to be the two men standing next to him. Well, let's face it, it's going to be every single player on that pitch that digs deep, that gets us there. Come on, lads. I'm desperate. I'm begging. We need, we need to stay in the Premier League. So then the Glass Boys in the 4-4-2 in the classic. Heine and goal, back four of Saracini, Williams, Paredes and Dowerty. Apta. Perry, Sanchez, and Shepard on the wings with the two bad lads up front, Tovide and Scarlett. But the West Ham side, oh my God, I don't even want to look at it. I don't want to look at it. 
Nkape, Mavropanos, Fofana in the midfield, Kudus and Yilmaz. Oh my God! And on the bench as well, they've got they've got the likes of Gavi, Coleman. Oh, come on, boys! Glass boys, do not let me down here. Put, I want to leave everything on this pitch. The War Memorial will never see heart like it. Doherty, Doherty, cutting inside. Spank one. It's one! Oh, that's a good save. Back into him. Can we nick it? Oh, the effort! God, that, he must have swazzed it. Perry, no, so. Keep going, Pez. Keep going, Pez. Oh, that's awful! That's a terrible, terrible lunge at the ball. Any more than a yellow, though? I don't know. Yeah. Yellow's about right, I think. Davita. Apta. Driving in. Loves to drive in. It's one! Oh, that's a great save. That was destined for the top bin. That ball. It was meant to be for Tovi Day. And now it is. To Tovi Day. Flicks it on. Someone's got to be attacking that back stick. But we'll have it. Big switch there. Rob, flick it. Toffee day. Got round him. Tov! Oh, that's a great save. Into Tov. Touches it. Turns it. Finish it! Oh. We're starting to turn it on. The style has been well and truly initiated. Perry. Foul referee. Absolutely a foul referee. Go on then. Sanchez. I've seen you do it. I've seen you strike a ball off the bar. Can you put it in the top bin? Can you put it in that top bin? Can you put it in that top bin? He's hit it. Oh, it's off the bar. Tommy Day, finish. Yes! Just before our time. It has worked. And it's our big brick shit house. Just stand still. Don't even move. He goes, go on. Just, I'll, I'll just let the ball smash off my cranium. And that's 1-0 before half-time. Right then. Change I forgot to make at half-time, to be honest. Sanchez, off you come. Because it's Jan's final game in a Starbridge shirt. Go and get yourself a goal, son. That's the edge. Oh, Harvey Elliott. Oh! Oh, my God. He's absolutely shaved one. Remember, lads, we need to win. I know it's party time. I know we're saying goodbye to people, but we still need to win. Rob, nice. Into Perry. Still going, Perry. It won, Perry! Oh, that's an absolute arrow into that corner. This keeper's incredible, by the way. Picks that ball up and turns and swivels. And he's still on it. Oh, that's a big save, Heine. Well done, son. And go on, then. Apta. Drive. Turns on it. Dowater. It's Dowater. Is it going to open up for you? Well, he's going to try it anyway! Yes, boys! That means... It's got to mean... It's got to mean we're staying in. It's Dowater. The free agent left back with the wand of a left foot. That would have Gandalf spinning. Like he does in the fellowship. Perry's going to drive. Oh. He's been giving it away. And that's it. It's done. But what does that mean? Oh, we look happy. We look happy-ish. We don't look buzzing, but we never do. When we narrowly... We narrowly beat relegation. Have we beat it, though? Have we beat it? I don't know. We look happy. But is that because... Alfie has just struck... An absolute Hall of Famer. I don't know. Oh, I can't. I can't do any more. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look at the table. Oh, my God. We ain't done it. We've gone down. Oh, my God. I'm shook. I'm absolutely shook. Shit. Yeah. I want to cry. Never been relegated in RTG before. Feels like I've just found out my missus is cheating on me, and I know the 
geezer's got a massive knob. Just sick. But anyway, Jan's hung him up, so who takes his place? Do we stick with Sanch? Is Hancock ready? Or do we sign someone else? Ellie and Frost both won out. And the top performers from this season, Perry with 13 and 1, Tov with 13 and 2. Assist, Dowerty and Apta have just been unreal in their first season. But the real question is, does someone like Tov, an England international, leading the line for a championship side? I think we might have to listen to offers for him. Parachute payments are giving us around 40, but we could get 50 plus for him. So, with that in mind, we're going to have bags to work with. So, who do we sign? Louis Barry, Harvey Vale, Pabega, all look tasty. And then with the rest of the list, it's as you were. We can really start to cherry pick now. And with us being in the championship next season, surely that's going to be a cakewalk. So, I want a squad that can start challenging for silverware all over the shop. Carabao, FA Cup. Whatever you've got, I'll take it. And then I'm just throwing it out there. Is it too early for this, man? And then in terms of the new War Memorial, I'm thinking these couple stadiums. Stadion Europa, Estadio de las Artes. I'm looking at Vol Stadion and Sanderson Park. I'll stick up a poll. Tell me which one we're moving into. With all that being said, that's episode six coming to an end. Oh, thanks, Glass Boys. You've ruined my weekend. But make sure that you've dropped it a like if you've made it all the way to this point. Get down in the comments section and tell me who we should be signing next season. No, it sucks getting relegated. I just hope that you appreciate me not just restarting the game. But just think of the comeback story. Be like a prime Kim Kardashian. She definitely got some cum on her back, didn't she? But with that being said, it's much love from me, geezers. I'll see you in a week. And...